This time I actually was turning off the heat. It's turning off cool here. You know, anytime I try to sort of censor myself on these, I know some of them don't make sense and they probably go long. I just, I really don't care if you want to watch them, watch them. If not, don't. You know, um, being a professional video editor, I could edit these down to be 30 seconds, you know, and sometimes it's the garnish around the steak, that, if there is any steak, that makes these things interesting. You know, it could just be. I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about, try to stay focused on internet relationships, try to go no more than, than 10 minutes. If it's more, I could care less. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it could be, like I said, internet, I could just come on and go, yeah, it's the, the garnish around the steak sometimes, uh, or the, the, uh, the minutia of the thing that that is interesting <laughs> if at all uh i could just come on and have three seconds of like people internet relationships are complicated you know or complex and then you know that's it then go off three seconds uh, but um now that i'm not really in any and i rarely get haters uh you know uh somebody got a a friend of mine it happens occasionally to me out of every uh so many people I can't even remember the number right now I think it's one or two per thousand uh, hits uh, that I get I get kind of a, a random uh, fuck you <laughs> you know or just weirdness and you know I really one of the great things and in life I've been able to do this you know I think we all come and go on this stuff I, I've been able to do it with some uh, uh, objectivity and regularity, you know, I mean, being able to just not paying attention, that kind of thing, and, uh, but it, it is, can be disturbing when it comes out of the blue, you know, for me, I mean, I know all the arguments against this kind of thing, uh, and it, it, I'll do some illogical stuff in my life, I mean, one of, one of my things is, in my life has been an obvious uh, uh, character flaw, if you want to call it that. <laughs> I think it goes deeper. Uh, is, uh, you know, for me, when people do randomly, when haters come by, they're really selling, they're saying, hey, you know, doubt yourself. And they're, they're selling fear and they're selling doubt. They're selling shame. They're selling embarrassment. And I don't get them on this site because they can't publicly do anything. All they do is give up their address, you know, if they post anything here. I haven't had one. And on my other side, once a week, once a month now, I get them. But I also have many different accounts. It's not professional for me. And I don't, it's not fair for people. And I haven't had them in a while, so I can talk about it sort of objectively. <laughs> uh, but uh, I... Uh, with the haters and I'll talk about just the disregard button and that's one thing I've learned that they should have is just a disregard button uh, because so many before I forget I'll just say you know I get so much psychic garbage one most people are wonderful but I get psychic garbage from people sometimes it's like they're so obviously nowhere near like it's either their their kids playing or it's a, just an idiot or a, a, a person who's a nut or goofball or thinks they're funny who cares it's just I instantly just go, eh, whatever, disregard, nothing to do with me, everything to do with them, you know, well, sometimes it's easier said than done, so much stuff in my life should have been disregarded, but, you know, with the haters, I mean, uh, I, uh, the people who legitimately, and they've set up a fake account, I never attack anyone, uh, uh first, uh, you know, if they come and they post fuck you on my files, I won't reply on that file. It's I haven't I've been doing this almost a year now. There hasn't been a, a fuck you that has stayed on a file more than a few seconds. I've caught every one of them and deleted it and blocked the person. And I have other several other accounts and you know, I know, oh, live and let live and don't fight you know, don't 
Gandhi and all that. Well, that's good for Gandhi, you know. But it's it can't. It used to be in real life and on the internet. Now there's so many people, you know, that it's who cares. But it used to be. It could be deeply disturbing, especially when I would just be in so much pain I couldn't stand it. And I was getting nowhere, and it's three in the morning, and I've been working 16 hours, and and then in comes a fuck you. You know, and it's always the same. Now I laugh. I laugh out so hard about it. It's always fuck you, faggot. And I don't like the word faggot, but or fuck you. You know, and uh, well, actually, just not applied to me. <laughs> uh, and I don't use the word faggot. I don't want to spread that kind of energy around. But you know, for me, here, I mean, here's my main personality. One of my main character flaws and personality flaws. Uh, is that I think it's important for the people who do that randomly to other people. I uh, There's so much to be said on this, but I think it's important. I, I instantly forward that email to a computer that stores it for a, uh, a few days or a week or two, and then it automatically goes through and picks out certain keywords from everything they've their feed if they have one most of them it's a completely blank blank profile anyway i gather all the information it automatically happens all of this happens just to push a button and i go whatever you know how original fuck you faggot whatever but i think it's important that these people know how disturbing some of them do have real accounts which is really disturbing but some people set up fake accounts to fuck with you to hurt you to hurt other people uh but either way, I have an automated thing that goes back to their account, gathers the most disturbing statements based on their personality profile that I am willing to gather, and uh, at random post fuck you faggot on their shit. And uh, you know, I mean, and I'll tell you about my personality and the way it works, and and you know, my sort of fight in life. There was a guy who was messing with me really way beyond the 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 uh the scope of and this is a horrible thing i want to tell you you know uh, uh but in my business this guy made a vendetta against me for no reason uh, unprovoked vendetta and he cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars in various little schemes and ways and constantly bullshit and attacks from this guy and uh you know, I mean, with me, I'm the kind of person, you start it with me and I'll end it. And if it ends up with, uh, you know, somebody dead, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's just that's just me. But this guy was jacking with me. And uh, I was going to go over to his place of business in broad daylight and uh, bash his head in. I really had gone on about a year. I'd had enough of it. I didn't care. And as I was on my way over there, fully intending to, cr to crush his skull open on the floor, and I've had all kinds of training and expertise in this kind of violence and shit, you know, uh, and work professionally in the security business and all that, you know, and, and I know better, and it's my main character flaw, but I'm the kind of person, and, and this is my thing with haters, I know all of this is ugly, but... I won't bother a single person in life, but people who harass you and stuff, and I haven't been harassed in a long time, uh, really at all, but I've been hated on. Uh, it, uh, it, so yeah, I mean, I, I was going to go over there and uh, smash this guy's skull wide open, broad daylight. If I got caught, I'd have been the kind of, I'm the kind of person that would sit in jail and just revel in the fact that I told you, stop. You didn't. I busted your head wide open. You're now dead. I was, you know, taking a whiz in your brain cap or whatever. I'd sit in prison and just revel in that every day. That's the kind of that's the kind of commitment I have to stuff. Well, before I got there, the police were arresting the guy for harassing some woman or some other people. It was just insanity. And uh, but you know, I think the point of that is that uh, if there can be one ferreted out of this. Um, is that a lot of times on the internet and in life in general we're dealing with people who are just nowhere near our level of comprehension or understanding and they can they can draw you down into the muck and uh you know it's been my one of my personality flaws is it, revenge seeking and I, not always you know i look at it as a public service with haters it, it, i can imagine how many john lennon's or or 
Bonos or, or who knows, you know, uh, who know, a great artist that posted their stuff on the internet and, you know, it's like Imagine John Lennon, like, I, I, I've just written a little tune called Imagine and, you know, it's a little ditty, I want to put it on YouTube and see how, you know, it's like YouTube, however, he, I can't remember John's accent, but, uh, I've got a oh, let me poke it, and uh, you know, and then some asshole comes along and thumbs down, thumbs it down, and gives it a thumbs down and posts, "Fuck you." You know, I mean, for me, I look at it as a public service to to go to these people. If one of them has gotten a "fuck you" faggot back from me that disturbed them truly, uh, with some other kind of psychic babble, that's all auto-generated. Just one push of a button to me, and it, and you know, how it replies to. Uh, eight or ten of them at a time, or you know, but they. And the thing I learned on YouTube is a whole science behind this bullshit. You could say, "Oh, well, you're wasting time doing that." No, it takes me one push of a button. A and B. I just think it's important that the people who go around, those are the people that cause trouble in life. Those are the people. Those are why. Those kind of people are why we have jails. They just won't learn any other way than than brute force meets brute force. You know overwhelmingly people have been good but yeah I mean it's it's on the internet who knows what level some of these people are on of their understanding of anything um, and it can't even be I've scared myself a few times because if I would have been transported into a person's room uh, I would have happily beat them to death with their own shoes you know Literally, I would have killed some of these people, some of the things they said, but it's so rare. It's been rare even when I first started. Now it's like once a month. Uh, but somebody got, somebody, you know, a, a friend of mine, somebody sent him an email that said, you know, whatever, fuck you or who the fuck are you or something. And, 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 and it's hard to keep all this stuff. Oh, Hal just finished up. Uh it's hard to keep all this stuff in perspective, but yeah, I mean, there's been, I'm still the type of person that best not to mess with. I never start anything, but I always finish it, and if it ends in one of us being dead, that's will probably be you, and uh, <laughs> I don't mind, you know, um, and that's been one of my main <laughs> character flaws. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I can... Uh, it's not even about letting go. It's just about what's right is right kind of a thing. I never start it, always finish it. And uh, but at the same time, there's so many people on the internet, and there's so there's so some some of the things I found it, it indicate to me that this person has such a sort of almost such a basic and rudimentary understanding of anything, the way things work, the files on their site, their attempts at art. Sometimes they're are kind of scary, you know, um, that I, uh, it just tells me there's so many people on so many different levels that, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's frightening, but that most of the people that do that kind of stuff have a very basic understanding of, of anything, and they're sort of slow, what I've found is they're kind of slow, don't really get how things work, and it's not worth messing with, but yeah, I mean, Basically, I'm saying I'm an axe murderer and waiting, you know. And you know, hey, uh, I mean, you can you can see, you know, I mean, the the way I've spoke about it. I mean, I'm the kind of person that once I say don't do that, it's not playtime. It means don't do that. And if it if I had to take it all the way, I, you know, I often wonder would I kill somebody over that? And the answer is uh, yes, yes, I would, especially at this age, at this level, uh, sort of doing what I'm doing. Um, I've never, in my entire life, I've never sort of took a stand for my art. I've always kind of stepped back and said, well, this is ugly, and the marketing's ugly, and the money's ugly, and, and the independent promotion is ugly. It's all ugly. I don't want any part of it. But other people charge right up and took their, <laughs> got their due, you know. And I always just felt like that was arrogant and so on. But, yeah, uh, there are times where I would happily have, have have killed somebody over a blurb of text, you know, so that's a for what it's worth. I'm telling you, I'm a fucking murderer, you know. <laughs>